Okay. Hi! Why are you all looking at me like that? They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus. What drew him to you? Uh, he wanted the anchor, right? Like, that that's what it is. He wants the thing on my hand that apparently I have spoiled and is now permanent, and I have upset him, which makes me very happy. He came for this, and now it's useless to him, so he wants me dead. That's it. The anchor has power, but it's not why you're still standing here. What do you mean? Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. Uh, I'm sorry? That's a lot of people down there, Cassandra. Me. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness, you want me. I mean, I know I said that I do this, but I just... Yeah, it, it's me, Cassandra. I can't... I know I talked to Bull about this, and I meant what I had said back then, but... <sighs> All right. All right. No, no, no. Yeah, we can do this. We can beat him up, and we can put things back to rights, because, you know... In for a little, in for a lot, right? I'm honored. Sincerely. I don't know what to say. Say that you will not make me regret this. Oh, you're gonna regret it. If you're not sure, why do it? Because I believe this is what was meant to be. That without you, there would be no Inquisition. What it means for the future, how you lead us, that is entirely up to you. How I lead us? How I lead us is stopping Corypheus. This is it. This is what we have to do. There's no way to save everybody. There's no way to put things back to rights. There's no way we can argue over what should happen to the mages, what should happen to this group or that group, unless Corypheus is stopped. Because if we don't stop him, nobody else can. Corypheus will never let me live in peace. He made that clear. He intends to be a god, to rule over us all. Corypheus must be stopped. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? Will you fight? Will we triumph? Your leader, your herald, your Inquisitor! So this is where it begins. Yeah. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. 
But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Yeah, he wanted my mark, and we know kinda sorta of why, but he can't get it back. Is he allied with Tevinter at all? He did mention that he was from Tevinter. Corypheus wants to restore Tevinter. Is this a prelude to war with the Imperium? I get the feeling we're dealing with extremists, not the vanguard of a true invasion. Good. Tevinter is not the Imperium of a thousand years ago. What Corypheus yearns to restore no longer exists. I don't think he understands Though that. Though they would shed no tears if the South fell to chaos, I'm certain. Yeah, I'm certain of that too. So, the next question. Is his dragon an archdemon? Is this another blight that we are about to face? And you said, what, Liliana, a few weeks ago, that the Grey Wardens are missing for the most part? I mean, we have one Grey Warden, but we don't have a lot to help with that. Could his dragon really be an archdemon? What would that mean? It would mean the beginning of another blight. That's what I thought. We've seen no darkspawn other than Corypheus himself. Perhaps it's not an archdemon at all, but something different? Whatever it is, it's dangerous. Commanding such a creature gives Corypheus an advantage we can't ignore. Yeah, we can't ignore it at all. And can he become a god? Darkspawn or no darkspawn? Uh, archdemon, no archdemon. Blight, no blight. Can he become a god? Corypheus said he wanted to enter the Black City, that this would make him a god. He is willing to tear this world apart to reach the next. It won't matter if he's wrong. That's true. What if he's not wrong? What do you if mean? If he finds some other way into the Fade. Oh boy. Then he gains the power he seeks, or unleashes catastrophe on us all. Great. So we need more information, is what I am hearing. So let's all start gathering more while we figure out how to get this place clean because there's a lot of of stuff and i'm afraid somebody is going to step on something and get very hurt someone out there must know something about corypheus unless they saw him on the field most will not believe he even exists oh good we do have one advantage we know what corypheus intends to do next when you were at therenfall you uncovered a plot to kill empress Selene. true imagine the chaos her death would cause with his army yeah. An army he's growing. The Envy Demon gloated about a massive force of demons. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. Same. I know someone who can help with that. Varric? Uh, everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. An old friend? He's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know more about what he's doing. He can help. He can help? Oh, you have a friend that's met Corypheus before. What a coincidence. Okay, introduce me. I'm always excited to make new friends. I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Uh, parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately on the battlements. Okay. Trust me. Yeah? It's complicated. Good. Love complicated. Well, then, uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. Excellent. On your order, Inquisitor. Oh, that's weird. Gonna take I know time one thing. If yeah? Varric has brought who I think he has, Cassandra is going to kill him. Oh, good. That seat right there, that chair, thr whatever. A, it's creepy, but B, that's what Envy showed me. That's what Envy used. In, in that weird alternate brain thing. I don't even know what I want to call that. I am going to see if Josephine knows of anybody that A, wants to take that with them somewhere, or B, we can just burn it or something. It can provide nice warmth for somebody and uh, maybe find something else for me to sit in. Because, oh boy. that I, I don't know if I can look at that. Not after everything we've been through. All right, Skyhold. Home. Okay, I guess I should go find people, say hi, make sure everybody made it, and prevent people from doing stupid things. Vivienne! It was a mistake to use Haven as a base of operations. The town was completely indefensible. Well, not going to say that you're wrong, because you're not. It was, but I don't think anybody expected a dragon to attack. 
It was a bad location. We should have moved sooner. You left yourself vulnerable to attack. It was a miscalculation, one that I'm sure you won't repeat. But the enemy struck a serious blow against you and the Inquisition. We must recognize that. You must. Okay. Um, yes. Well, the good news is I'm going to make Corypheus pay for all of it, including this little conversation we're having. I'm not going to forgive what happened at Haven. Corypheus will answer for what he's done. You're angry? Good. Anger can save you when everything else is gone. Just make sure you put it to good use. I will. Our enemy advances, Inquisitor. We must not sit idly by. Act first and teach them to fear us. You can become the leader the faithful require, but you must do it soon. Okay, well, thank you very much. Blackwall, you made it. So, this is Skyhold. It is. Home sweet home. Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortifications. All right. We'll be able to see Corypheus coming from miles away. Yeah, we will. If we see him, though, he sees us. However, I think we're, uh, we're safe for now. Corypheus thinks we're beaten. By the time he finds us, we'll be legion. I know soldiers. I know our soldiers. Corypheus made a hundred enemies when he kicked down our door. Let him come. I swear I'll take the Twister Bastard down. Even if I have to die to do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, nobody's gonna die. Don't worry. I appreciate the enthusiasm. Really and truly I do. But I'm out here to make sure none of us die in order to uh, defeat him. You see this as a personal insult, don't you? If it's not personal for you, maybe it should be. I didn't say it wasn't. The people flock to your banner, eager to fight for the Herald of Andraste. Their faith is a leash and your Inquisition has taken hold of it. Tell me honestly. Yeah? Are you what they say you are? What do you mean? Andraste's chosen. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if I believe Andraste was ever really a person. Um, I mean, I'm sure there was somebody named Andraste that walked around at some point in history, but I don't know if Andraste is who everybody thinks Andraste was. I don't know if I'm Andraste's chosen, but I do know that I'm here to end this threat, to end Corypheus, so take for that what you will. There is so little I remember. What if they're right? Does it even matter? Don't you see what you are to them? Without you, they'd be consumed by despair. We all would. They need you to be Andraste's messenger. It gives them hope. The truth doesn't matter. What do you mean? Ah, uh, listen to me talk. Your time is valuable and I've wasted enough of it. That conversation went places I wasn't expecting. Um, Majestic. How is a place like this ever lost? I'm definitely not sad we're here instead of Haven, though, I'll tell you that. A lot warmer, too. I gotta say, though, that conversation with Blackwall was sure something. I hope he's all right. I mean, can anybody really be all right after everything that just went down? I don't know. Hey, Harding! Scout Harding. Your worship. How you doing? Anything new? What's been going on? Sister Liliana glanced at me today. Oh, no. I think she's gonna have me killed. I don't think so. Don't worry. I should go. I'll make sure that you don't get killed. Promise. Um. Oh, hey, Bull, you're standing out here? Inquisitor, huh? Yeah. Well, you've got the fortress for it. Always wanted Speaking my own fortress. Which, when you've got a second, there's something I want to show you. You wanted to show me something? What did you want me to come see? Here, come on. I'll show you. All right. Why am I dressed like this? You'll see. Come on, it'll be worth your time, I promise. Evening, Iron Bull. My merc band just joined up. Tanner, I'm from Jader. Well, Mir Jader. Mira, I was guard captain for Lady Pendel. Signed on after shit blew up at the Conclave. Share a drink? Who's your friend? This is Grim. She doesn't talk much. Huh. So, you ready to kill some demons? Or Venatori, or whatever that Corypheus asshole is? 
This isn't just about killing. We're helping the Inquisitor save the world and build the next empire. Hmm. Well, long as I get paid, I'm happy. That's why I signed up. I just couldn't spend my whole life on a farm. Needed to live a little, you know. What about you, Mira? Why'd you join up? I thought you were serving some noble. I saw what happened at Haven. The Inquisitor staring down that monster and his archdemon. I don't sing the chant of light as much as I should, but you can't see something like that and not believe. Well, Grim and I should find our tents. Thanks for the drink. I know every soldier under my command. You don't have that option, but a few faces might help. Why, why did you ask the questions the way that you did, out of curiosity? You made it sound like you didn't like the Inquisition. People don't always tell the truth when you're polite. You've got to poke them a bit. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I didn't think of that. What happens if they think less of you for it? But those two soldiers might think you're an asshole. So? Okay. Well, fair. I don't think you're an asshole, for what it's worth, but... This was good. Thank you for this, actually. I think I needed this. It was good to get their perspective. Yeah. Sounds like we could use an easy win for boys like Tanner. And vets like Mira have seen enough to be wary. You've got a good army coming along. Remember that. I will. No matter what comes next. Uh, it looked like Sarah. Sarah, you made it over here? So, Inquisitor. Yeah. It is Inquisitor now, right? Kinda, yeah. Remember that war we talked about stopping? Mm -hmm. Full of little baddies I can stick with little arrows. That's not a friggin' archdemon, is it? Draste, what does step in? I mean, I didn't expect it either, if that's any consolation. Like, how was I to know that a big dragon was gonna come out of wherever it came from kind of thing? There's a hole in the sky, not a hole in the side of a mountain where a dragon can come out. You know what I mean? I have apparently been through a lot. But yes, Corypheus was a surprise. No, a surprise would be, oh, I stepped in dog shite. No one says, oh, a Magister God monster, I'm surprised. Well, I mean, Impossible I did. things aren't surprises. Yes, they are. They are a hundred percent surprises. Just because they're impossible things doesn't make them any less. Actually, it makes them more of a surprise because when they happen, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so surprised. And it was supposed to be impossible. You know what I mean? It's fine it's fine plus corypheus 100 percent seemed real enough to be a surprise one that seems to keep on giving the ancient thing trying to kill us seems pretty real don't get me started oh wait too late right a little bit a magister who cracked the black city allegedly it's a hazy dream right yeah i mean if it's real real then the seat of the maker yeah real thing allegedly a seat needs a butt so the maker real thing Fairy stories about the start and end of the world. Real things. It's too far, isn't it? I just want to plug the sky hole rubbish so I can go play. Uh, okay. I mean, listen, you don't have to, like, stick around and help because of big, creepy, uh, magister kind of guy or the fact that there's a seat that needs a butt and we don't know whose butt goes in the seat. You can just stay and stick around and help to plug the sky hole so you can go and do whatever it is that you did before we met. Like, there's no reason that it has to be all or nothing. As long as you're reliable when we go magister hunting, stay for whatever reason you like. Like don't have nuts to do with it. Not when we're tracking monsters that shouldn't be. What I want is to get everything back to business as usual. A nice simple system with simple problems. Helps me, helps people, helps you. In that order, for now. That was so close to making sense that I am terrified. Are you sure that it all ha this hasn't done more of a number on you than we thought? You're starting to not sound completely crazy. I know, scary, isn't it? Terrifying. So bring them on. But first, food. I'm starving. Oh, where did... S Sarah, if you find any of that food, send some my way, because I haven't gotten to eat yet, and I am absolutely positively famished. Wait, I have... It's, I, was I told Cassandra was hanging out up here? Oh, there. Oh, Cassandra! You found a, a place to hang out, it seems. 
Have you met this friend of Varric's, Inquisitor? No, not, not yet. yet. No. It had better not be who I think it is. I will wring that little bastard's neck. <laughs> Wait, who do you think it is? And whose neck are we talking about? Why? Who do you think it is? Someone Varric claimed he could not contact. Someone the Inquisition, indeed all of Thedas, desperately needed. I'll reserve judgment until I know for certain. No need to have that rogue screaming persecution yet again. But we all know Varric will scream persecution at any point for any reason because honestly it just amuses all of us. That's enough for now. Another time then. I'll talk to you soon, Cassandra, after I see who Varric's friend is. <laughs> Yelling person. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why the thought of uh, Varric running around the every, wherever Cassandra picked him up yelling, you're persecuting me or something like that amuses me so much, but it, it does. Um, okay. Is there anybody? Last. There's this. <gasps> Colin, this is where you ended up. Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander. Soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Now! We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for an archdemon or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have... I know. I know. But do you ever stop working, Colin? We, we made it. We're here. It's okay to take a break for, like, two seconds. Do you ever sleep? If Corythia strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. Oh, that title. That title. Oh, it's still weird. Hey, I'm Colin. Do we have a number yet on how many we lost at Haven? How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but has improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. Ah, oh, still, once again, once again, I don't know what's weirder, Inquisitor or Herald of Andraste? Inquisitor Lavellan. It sounds odd, don't you think? Not at all. Is that the official response? <laughs> I suppose it is, but it's the truth. We needed a leader, and you have proven yourself. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate that immensely, Cullen. And just for whatever it's worth, I do value your advice on all things that I don't understand in this realm of military and command and putting an army together. Like, sincerely, thank you for everything you've done. You responded quickly to the attack on Haven. Without that, so many more would have died. I'm grateful for any help you can give. Thank you, Inquisitor. I will do everything I can to ensure the security of our people. You have my word. This thing is not a stray puppy you can make into a pet. It has no business being here. Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? Inquisitor. Yeah. I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. A spirit? It is a demon. Spirit! If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. He helped us. Isn't that enough for everybody? Also, how much more complex solace because that kind of terrifies me when it's not just straight up demon or spirit i can understand all that but i'm not sure how much more complexity i need solace indeed my dear he may call it whatever he likes but it is still a threat i didn't say that in fact his nature is not so easily defined interesting speak plainly solace what are we dealing with demons normally enter this world by possessing something in their true form they look bizarre Monstrous. Okay. But Cole looks like a young man. Could it be possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. 
and yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. I know. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. Absolutely. I have no intentions of getting rid of Cole anytime soon, but let me talk with him, see what he wants. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? He was right... Haven. Yeah? So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. I know. Choking fear. Can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to... I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. Are you all right, Cole? That was something. You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close, with so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes, but here is where I can help. Every breath slower, like lying in a warm bath, sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain. Dry. Scraping. Thirsty. Here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. So, Cole, it has to be asked. I mean, everybody seems to have their opinion on you, but what are you? Solus tried to explain what you are, but honestly, I stopped listening after a while. Any chance you could explain it? Yes. Thank you. I used to think I was a ghost. Okay. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. Then stay and help us if you want to, because I mean, I have no problems with you staying, and anybody else that does can take it up with me as the Inquisitor. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes, helping. I help the hurt. The helpless. There's someone. Hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Hours? Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. You said he wants mercy? He wants help? Then... Then give him that help, Cole. All right. Help him. It's all right. I want to stay. 